Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is Saturday and I thought I would show you guys how I created this look and um, stay tuned and you will see in about a few seconds. Going in with my Contour Cosmetics and as you can see I use them a lot and I do clean this a lot. Right, I'm going to go in with this shade over here, just dab a bit of it on my sponge so I can dab a bit of that on my eye. I just want to create like a kind of like a lighter look on my eye. Um, what I'm going to do now is my eyebrows. Usually I would use my Catrice Cosmetics um, eyebrow pencil, but I have no idea where that is. However, I have been trying a lot of new products these days and I found this little fella from Carter Beauty um, and it's a brow out defining pencil. It's in the shade medium just like a medium brown and I usually struggle with my eyebrows so this might take a while so my eyebrows are done and they're finished so what we are going up next is Palam. Um, I actually saw that they released their new palette <clears throat> the Carnival Palette Pro and they have loads of new colors, more colors and even extra highlighter so whereas this one only has like two highlighters and a few colors I saw they have like I don't even know how many more colors I'm, I just know that I am fairly excited about it so <clears throat> I'm so sorry my voice something has gone wrong with my voice I don't know I was swimming in the ocean yesterday and maybe that's Ooh. okay so yes we are just going to use these three ones today. So it's the Naked, Basic and Rowdy. Alright, so I have all my brushes here. Oh, we're not going to need this big one. But yeah, all of these brushes and I'm going to go in with this one first. And this is from my Real Techniques. It's just a deluxe grease brush. And I'm going to go in with the shade Naked. I'm just going to go in all over my eye with that. Right, so we have that all over the eyes. Um, next up we're going in with this little fella. And this is from Primark actually, they're really really good. It's the eyeshadow blending brush. And with this one I'm going in with the shade Basic. I'm just going to dab that. And then add it in the very ends of my eyes into the crease a bit. And right now it might look a bit weird but we're going to blend them all together. I'm just going to lightly enter it in there and then keep building it up. This is my absolute favorite look because it's so natural and I think it can be very nice in both daylight and like for a night out. I don't know about you guys but I always feel like my one eye turns out better than the other eye and it's usually this eye. I don't know if you guys are like that Comment down below, I want to know I'm not the only one. Alright, so we have them. <clears throat> and then in with the same one. We're gonna 
just clean it a tiny bit but having the excess excess of the previous bit of eyeshadow will kind of help but then we're going in with the darkest shade it's called Rowdy and that is kind of going to define our eye okay so in the very corners only at the ends just dab it a bit there to kind of create the outer line and then we go to in little circles I blend them together and that's kind of what we want we want the outer side to be darker than the inner side but we want to like blend them all together so it all makes sense and then the same with the other side eyes and we have the little bit of in-depth created with a darker outside coming in lighter however now I'm going to go in with a little bit of whiter on the inside but not too white and this is what I use my revolution palette for this is the iconic fever one and I'm just going to take my finger with a really light color and I'm just gonna swing over it so I don't want to add more concealer on the eyelid because I don't want it that bright white. Just want a nice kind of flow in with the other browns. So it's all nudey. For the really super add to it, we are using this little fella. This is a pencil and powder smudge brush. And we are using, where did I put it? It's gone. So overdramatic, I'm sure if I calm down, I will find it. In a sec. All right, I found it. Okay, so next in to add my favorite part of this glam look is a bit of gel eyeliner and we're going to use this pen so this is a smudge pencil or brush and this is actually super cute because you can like open it up here and then you have the gel and then you pull out the little brush at the top so it's really cute but this is what we're gonna do I'm gonna take a bit of the black and then smudge it at the edges of the eye just like a really rough look and then we're gonna take this smudge pencil and we're gonna smudge it and we blended it together and to add a really really thin line of the gel eyeliner mm. I like to go into like the corners of my eyes guys have seen how I created the eyes and I'm going in with lashes so these lashes are from Primark I actually find that I do like Primark lashes they are called full look let's get into the face okay so I have once again my contour cosmetics and my foundation from Carter Beauty and I'm going to just add a bit on my and 
then I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush, this is a face brush and I'm just going to dab a bit everywhere and into my neck and over my ears I'm going to go for a very natural lip color because the dress is kind of pinky and it is daylight so I don't want to go with something too out of this world. Talk without talking, your silence. And I know I look like a ghost right now, but it's all gonna be okay. It's all gonna look great. And I'm going in with my beauty blender. And once again, the white shade so that I can just dab a bit under my eyes to bring out the eyes a bit. And on the other side, the little bit darker side, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker color just on the cheekbones. Before I go any further, I'm going in with my makeup fixing spray again. I like use this over excessively. Just so that it can stick and last really really long. And when I got that, it's all nicely dried up. And then I'm going in with my Signal. So I'm this is gonna be a combination of my Benefit Hula and then my Carter Beauty. It's called Cupid. It's like a little blush palette that I bought the other day. So I did a whole if you guys follow me on Instagram you've probably seen my just Carter Beauty. There is on the highlights if you haven't seen it you can go back and check it out on Brunette in Vogue. So I'm gonna use my blush brush and I'm going to use my hula a bit in circle, circular motions and up to add a bit of definition to the face. I don't wanna rush, but when you say it like that, then why you do me like that? There you go. Then for the Cupid one, I don't like too much pink and this turns out to be a much more pinky palette than I like. That's why I combine it with the Hula. But what I do is I just do this. Just go all over the palette and then look add it in with the brown. And it does make a little bit of pinky but kind of adds a bit of a healthy glow then. Then for highlighter I'm going in with the Be Perfect, the Sinner and Saint. I'm just going to add a bit of highlighter. I use both of them. And then on the cheekbones. I'm like a real glow girl. I'm just going to add a bit of my nose. Alright, for my lips, I'm going in with a light browny lip. It's the same one I used to do my eyebrows, so I just use it as a lip pencil as well. I go really thin and then I color it in a bit so that it adds a bit of definition to the lips and not just a line around. And I'm going to use this Catrice Cosmetics lip gloss. It's in the shade Matte 010. And for a final touch, again, my Revolution Fixing Spray. And voila! Okay, so the dress looks like this. Now, I know I am wearing sneakers, but it is like a kind of not so glammy, formal day. And I know the lighting in here sucks as well, but yeah. So I just kind of used the 
sneakers because it is actually just like a semi casual type of outing but you guys know me I'm a bit extra so I switched up with uh, sneakers instead of heels so yes thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed this video please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe until next time